Today we want to talk about, well, the headline, OU versus Nebraska. Oh, that's coming up after the bumper. Don't be cornering me. Hold up. Time. You gotta help me with that, that corner sh**. <laughs> What's up, Jimbo? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. Consider hitting the like and subscribe button because I upload a video every single day. It's always college football related, sports related. We have a good time. Today, I want to talk about Oklahoma finalizing its non conference schedule for 2021. Three games played in the month of September. Oklahoma starting on the road this year at Tulane. Tulane, actually pretty damn good. Had one of the really cool games earlier this year. Well, I should say last year. Still January. I'm getting used to saying this year as opposed to last year. Tulsa Tulane was awesome. Also means that you're playing a team that was belt eligible, finished 6-6 six and six in 2020, and was in the famous Idaho Potato Bowl, which I didn't know that we were still playing until they were playing in it. And this is going to be at Yulman Stadium. It's only 30000 so it's going to be intimate. For perspective there, Oklahoma seats 84,000, the big house seats 110,000, 30,000. But it's going to be fun, right, because Tulane is fun. Last time Oklahoma played Tulane was 2017. That was the air traffic control game for Parnell Motley. Oklahoma won that game 56-14 to and was the nation's number two team in the country. They're also going to finish their three-game series in 2024. In Norman. Next game on the schedule is the home opener. Western Carolina, the Catamounts, come to Oklahoma. Catamounts played three games in 2020. Liberty, North Carolina, and Eastern Kentucky. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't anything to write home about. Matter of fact, Western Carolina gets the dubious honor of being anointed by Cat or anointing Mac Jones in 2019. As the heir apparent to a time below, and all he did was set records and win a national championship the following year. And then the big one, the one that I've been waiting years for, the one that Oklahoma fan Nebraska fans have been waiting years for, friggin' OU Nebraska, as the good Lord intended, September 18th at Gaylord at Oklahoma Memorial Stadium. I'm so hyped about this. It doesn't even matter that Nebraska ain't any good. This is the game. And also, this game is occurring on the 50th anniversary of the game of the century, all right? For those of y'all who don't know, who might be youngins like me, born like 87 or later, this is a 50-year anniversary of the, games of, of the game of the century, which was number one, Nebraska, edging out number two, Oklahoma, 35-31, on November 25th, Thanksgiving Day, 1971. The game attracted 55 million viewers. On television, that was a record, and featured 17 of the 22 All Big Eight selections that season. Nine from Nebraska, eight from Oklahoma. Outstanding game, and you know, like it ain't as if these teams aren't just juggernauts, all right. One to the same conference, and they need to be in the same conference again soon. Oklahoma has 50 league championships. The Cornhuskers have 46. League championships. That's ranked first and second nationally in league championships. Oklahoma or Nebraska won or shared the Big Seven, Big Eight titles in 44 of 48 years from 1948 to 1995 and combined for nine Big 12 championships, seven by OU before Nebraska left for the Big Ten and has not actually been the same since. Scott Frost coming to Nebraska. Savion Morrison coming to Nebraska. Marky Step coming to Nebraska. Like, I'm Nebraska's coming to play Oklahoma. All right, even as a as a neutral, this game has to fire you up. All right, like, this is tradition. This is pageantry. This is Osborne versus Switzer. All right, like, this is, oh, my God, the 95 Nebraska team, Thomas Rachel. My God, 2000, Bob Stoops, Oklahoma. Ah! Like, at one point, Taylor Martinez was the future of Nebraska football. Y'all remember that? Eric Crouch. Eric friggin' Crouch at Nebraska. Oh! I'm so excited about this. All right? Mike Rozier at Nebraska. Like, this is what you... My goodness. All right. That's it for me. This is...